Uh, hello, people, and welcome back to episode seven, I suppose. Uh, if I did my math right, which I should have. Um, well, apparently there is a zombie who likes fence dancing out there. Uh, but don't worry, I'm, I'm not concerned with him. Uh, so I just replaced the floor with uh, some nice cobble. Uh, you know, make the place look a bit more presentable. Uh, and I, I'm about to make myself some, uh, some more iron. This time, I'm thinking it would be a good idea to have a very nice chest plate. Yeah. And, uh, Bobble's inventory will also let me put some other stuff on, if I ever get any. Uh, actually, let me see if we have gloves. Because I know that they used to have... Ah! Take or hide gloves! So, they definitely used to have gloves, boots, leggings... Let's see, uh, okay, so let's see if there are iron gloves in this recipe here. Nope, nope, no iron gloves, um, which kind of sucks, because, you know, Aether has gloves of every other kind, but, eh, okay. And what really sucks is, uh, since it's raining, uh, all those mobs that would normally burn, uh, are not burning. And now I have a zombie in my chicken farm, doing zombie things. I have no time for zombies that do zombie things. That's right, Shaggy. You just stay right over there and away from the sword. There we go. There. So, what I had planned today, uh, well, actually, I, I didn't really have this plan, um, but I would very much like to do it. I would like to go into that dimensional rift dungeon that you see behind me and possibly not die in it because that would really suck, and it's very hard to get back out. Um, but, you know, I, I've decided against it for right now, uh, because I would hate to die in there and get trapped forever with all my shit and, and just ruin everything. So, yeah. Uh, so instead... Um, I'll, I'll just keep my death waypoints there. And actually, you know what? Uh, this this has been a long time coming. I, I need to just, just get rid of these. Uh... Yeah. I, I should have a waypoint inside my house, too, so I can just teleport back home when I get tired of something. I do like the rain, though. The rain's a... a nice thing. Oh, sorry. No, that's the uh, wrong button. 
Yeah, so I have my uh, I have my st staff with me, and I have my sword and my armor and a bow with a single arrow in it. So I'm gonna go looking for resources that I don't have around here, such as uh, well, uh, if I can find some some sugar cane. Oh, sheep! There's sheep over here. Well, th that's good. That's good. I can I can use these sheep later. Uh, to make a bed when I come back. Uh, oh! Oh, look over there! Sugar cane! Just what I was hoping for! Sugar cane. Good, good. Uh, well, yeah, I, you know, I, I was like, well, fuck! As soon as I heard that noise, I knew I was rather screwed. Um, thank goodness there was only one of them. <laughs> yeah, because that, that really hurt. That hurt. Oh. Is that a bunch of great wood trees over there? I mean, I know I have Thomcraft installed, but... Yep, okay, I have plenty of sugar cane to plant now, and... Oh, look, a silver wood tree. How nice. Yeah, great woods and silver woods. Yeah, just a real nice place. Got yeah, lots of sheep over here. I should have brought some shears. They made a nice source of mutton too. Yeah, I'm hoping that I come across a village somewhere nearby. That way I can get myself some carrots and potatoes. But nothing's coming up so far. Ooh, rose bushes. I like rose bushes. Yeah, I'll get myself some rose bushes. Make some rose red. Yeah, you know, it, you know, this is probably going to be the case for this world. It's um, it's going to have a lot of things like uh, uh, sheep and all that. But it's not going to have a fucking jungle for thousands of goddamn miles. And it's not going to have a desert anywhere on the map. I, I'm, this, is, this is what I'm guessing is, is the case. Ah, yes. Uh, hello, Doges. I ignore me. Oh, you don't have to be that ignoring of me. It, oh, I found a creeper head. How nice. I didn't even have to. No, you could get creeper heads legitly. But yeah, we have some sheep and a pair. We have some sheep and we have some pigs and we have some cows. So obviously something is going to be very far away and missing. What kind of great wood tree is that? It's covered in spider webs. Traveling up the path of least resistance is the best way to get around. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't want to fall in there, that's for sure. Sure to be a nasty drop. Lots of sheep. Just seems to be a near endless. Well, luckily it's raining, so that's not going to cause a forest fire. Hopefully. It may. God damn it. I know I'm being followed by a zombie, but I really don't feel like dealing with it right now. So I'm just going to keep moving. Are you kidding me? Baby zombie chicken fucker. You get the shit out of here, zombie. No. You go the hell away. Hello, wolf. Uh, okay, no. Turn in the other way. Goodbye. I have no resistance. Okay, yep. This place is, this place is terrible. I am just going to nope right into this cave here and teleport home to safety. Because I clearly picked the wrong goddamn path to travel down. It, it is, it is quite obvious to me at this point. So... Yeah. Okay. Well, I found some cool shit. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. I found some black wool, some creeper stuff, some gray wool, mutton, chicken. So that that's all nice. Don't like the thunderstorms though. You know, this would be an this would be an excellent opportunity if I um, if I had a gravity gun, but sadly I do not. Uh, here, let let me. Okay, I'm not sure what the hell is going on here. Well, give me a moment here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it needs four ender pearls, a piece of glowstone, two iron ingots, a piece of obsidian, and a diamond to make one of these. And the supercharged one is the same, but it requires another star. However, uh, if I were outside and got struck by lightning while holding it, it would automatically turn into a supercharged one. But since that is not about to happen, I suppose the best thing I could do at this point in time is, one, see what we have by way of... Nope. Uh, yeah, no, okay. 
I've cleared out plenty of room in this chest for the minions. Um, I, I'm just going to go order them to dig more. Because, you know, dig slaves, dig. Actually, you know what? I should probably order them to dig much deeper. Uh, to get deeper ores and shit. So, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna I'm tell them to dig down here at around level... Ah! Level 8! This is actually a really nice location to be digging in. Uh, strip mine. Strip mine. <laughs> Rip mine. And... Strip mine. So, we've ordered them to strip mine at level 8. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they come back with diamonds, honestly. Um, but I think it would be wise that we start taking some of the cobble and all these crap materials and putting them in this expendable items chest. Because I want to turn that chest into a chest full of diamonds when I start making an energy condenser or an alchemical chest, whichever comes first. And they won't be too difficult to make because my slaves are going to be providing all the resources. It is nighttime, a disproportionately large amount of the day here. I wonder if it's something in the settings. Oh, I should probably put those railroad tracks in here with the uh, others. Put the strings here with that. Put the eggs here. Uh, okay. You know, I think something I should probably do is find some ways to improve my farm. Uh, I could probably do this by making more rows of farmland so that I can grow a greater volume of wheat in a smaller amount of time. Um, minions are doing good. Uh, you know, my armor has not really even taken a beating. So Tagors apparently have some kind of gauntlet or whatever. <sighs> there seem to be any mobs in the immediate area. I say that and then there's a bunch of creepers and skeletons over there wearing armor and shit.